everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we have a video about summer in Arizona. We're currently in summer. We just started July. Today is July 6th of 2023. So if you're watching this a couple years from now, maybe this info doesn't apply. But in July 2023, here's what we're talking about. Right now we're jumping right to it. We're talking about the top five most annoying things about summer in Arizona. Let's waste no more time and jump into it. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Jeremy Fuse. I am a native to Arizona, born here, raised here, lived here my entire life, have no desire to go anywhere else, which means I am extremely biased about Arizona. But today we are talking about the five most annoying things that uh, Arizona summers bring us. Because, you know, when it's 115 degrees, there's going to be things that are annoying, right? So let's just jump into it. Number one, number one is going to be... <laughs> Any native will understand this. Anyone that's been here through summer will understand this. But number one is going to be your car, AKA the oven on wheels. If you go, let's use, let's say you go see a movie. Let's use that as an example. You go see a movie. So you park your car, you go in, you're in the theater for two hours, two and a half hours. You come back to your car, you open the door, you sit in your car and you're like, what in the hell is going on in here? It's so hot. Then, this is the worst part, then you go try to put on your seatbelt. And that belt buckle feels like you're holding a coal, like a piece of lava straight from a volcano. It is so dang hot. And you get in, right, and you sit, all right, you get, you get in your car, boom, 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 you sit down, boom, and then your elbow hits that buckle. I'm telling you, if you haven't experienced it, it's incredible. It's like every single time your elbow just hits it. There's a flinch. I'm gonna coin it right now. It's the Arizona summer flinch, boom elbow every single time it's hot as hell and if you're a female and you have short shorts on because it's 115 degrees outside and you're able to wear short shorts and your car has a leather interior your legs feel like it's sitting on a, an electric stove then you go to grab the steering wheel and it's like you're holding on to a hot iron straight out of the fire like you're about to brand a cow that's what it feels like it's the most annoying part my number one is the car in Arizona so when you go to do things people are looking for shade right there's trees somewhere there's trees you got to park in, in under the tree for that shade but turns out that theater that you're going to see that two-hour movie in is a brand new theater and all the all the trees are new they're early on in the mature process so the trees are very small so there's no shade anywhere so then you can't do anything right so then you have to endure the heat you go see the movie you come back to your car you do the Arizona summer uh, flinch buckle up it's the number one most annoying thing in my opinion number two has got to be the amount of sweat Right? And, I, I, and I've been here for 33 years, right? My entire life, I've been in Arizona. And it, it never surprises me. Like, it, it always surprises me how much you sweat in the summertime. Like, even this summer, right? Like, if you were to go take your trash cans out to the curb, you come back in the house, you're already sweating. You're out there for two minutes, you're covered in sweat. You go to just take the something outside to your garage, you're covered in sweat. You go to walk from the grocery store to your car, you're covered in sweat. You just sweat all the time. You're, all, you're sweating all the time. And so, for any fellow hat wearers, I'm a big hat wearer, you go through hats, you know, like you get sweat marks on your hats. You need to have a collection of hats because they get ruined, but you just sweat constantly. So you're going to have to potentially change depending on what you do for work and what your lifestyle looks like. But if you are uh, outside at all during the day, you're going to be sweating. You're going to be sweating. It's just, it is what it is. It's 115 degrees outside, right? And so just be prepared, you know, maybe bring an extra pair of underwear if you got them or uh, an extra shirt, something if you're going to be outside. Like for an example, like when I do an open house I'm a real estate agent if I haven't told you guys that already and I have to go put out my open house signs right so I'm carrying around these big old signs and I'm walking down the street I bring a separate change of clothes so I'll wear something like this right t-shirt shorts tennis shoes to go put out my signs I get covered in sweat it takes me about a half hour right to do them all then I get to the open house and I change it's a very common thing for me where uh, I have to change and I bring extra clothes because I'm outside kind of in and out all day long I'm showing houses with no AC all these things and so I get hot but so if you are not a native and you don't understand summer, but you're thinking about moving here, just understand that you will be in 115 degree heat and that causes sweat and you're gonna ruin hats. No, but the sweat, definitely number two on my list. It's very annoying uh, and I seem to forget it every single year. So this is my reminder to you guys. And as I say it, I reminded myself that I probably will be sweating today. Number three is, uh, this is a toss up for me, but number three is what's super, super annoying about summer in Arizona is really one of the few things you can do to keep cool is be in the pool, right? If you want to be outside, you're by a pool, you're by a body of water, typically a pool. 
uh, Arizona, if, if you don't know this, there is one pool for every 13 people in Arizona, and that is the highest ratio in the country. So Arizona is the king of pools. So what happens though, come mid July to August, your pool is warm. It's not like you jump in and it's refreshing. It's warm. It's like you're sitting in this warm body of water that doesn't help you cool down whatsoever. Unless you have a really big pool, a deep pool, uh, you need like probably 25,000 gallons plus for it to maintain some sort of cool temperature. Anything under that, it's probably gonna get warm. It's probably gonna get warm. And it's like one of those things that you don't really think about, right? Where it's like, oh, it's 115 degrees. I'm gonna go hop in the pool. Then you hop in the pool and it's like, what the heck? Like it doesn't, it's not refreshing. Like when you jump into a pool, you think, man, I want it to be refreshing. It's not, it's not refreshing. It's like, what the hell am I doing in here right now? I'm gonna get right out and go take a cold shower. So number three is the way the pool warms up because you don't really think about it. You don't think about it until you're in there and it's too late and you're like, gosh, it's not refreshing at all. So that's number three is the warm pools in mid July, August, somewhere in that time frame. Number four is going to be the heat of the ground, not inside your house, outside of your house. So turf is becoming much more popular here in Arizona. It doesn't require water. It looks good year round, right? And turf, when exposed to the sun, is like walking on fire. It's like walking on fire. I have turf in my backyard. I have full sun exposure all day long. I have no trees. I live on a golf course. And so I just get this exposure of sun all day long. And my turf on my bare feet feels like lava. It feels absolutely horrible. So we have to run misters, we run the hose, we do certain things to try to cool the turf down. So if we're gonna be outside, you know, on a pool day, something like that, where we're back and forth, then I need to cool the turf down or it's gonna burn the heck out of your feet. The pavement out front of your house, it is hot. So if you have dogs, if you have pets, like you have to be super, super cautious about walking your animals on this sort of pavement because that pavement gets hot and you can burn, uh, you can burn the paws of your, of your pets. So super, super careful. Like you just have to have some sort of slip on shoe to take out the trash, to go in the garage, to go out back, to pick something up, whatever it may be. Like it gets so freaking hot and it's just kind of annoying, right? It's super annoying where if you just want to go, I have an outdoor fridge, right? If I want to go grab a beer in the outdoor fridge, I got to freaking find my little slip on. I got to put them on or else I won't be able to make it. And you're going to hear me scream like a girl because that's just what happens. It's so freaking hot, man. So the, the heat of the floor. And again, if you are a pet owner and you're thinking about making the move to Arizona, summer is not the time to walk your pets. And if you do, you have to do it super early morning or in the evening. Sun sets right now around 738. So be expecting to walk your pets sometime after eight o'clock or before, you know, before six, something like that in the morning uh, to make sure that the pavement is a good temperature for, uh, for the paws of, of your dogs. There you go. That's number four. Last but not least, number five. And this is a little controversial one, but I think you guys can understand who I am with the hat and the t-shirt. Uh, I'm a pretty casual wearer, especially for like a real estate agent who sells hundreds of homes every single year. But this is going to be formal events. Formal events. Meaning if I have to wear a button up with a tie, a jacket in summertime, I'm not going to be a happy camper. I'm not going to be. It's so hot. Like, it's hard to explain, right? Like when you're in 115 degree temps with a jacket on, you sweat an insane amount. You feel terrible, right? So I always have uh, liquid IVs basically on me at all times, especially during summer, right? Depending on what I do, but I have them in my work bag, my golf bag, my truck. I kind of have them everywhere because you need those electrolytes. The more you sweat, right? You need to intake more electrolytes, not necessarily just more water. So. I consume a lot of electrolytes in summertime. If I am wearing, uh, especially like I hate my neck being closed up personally, right? So if I have to wear a tie, my body kind of like freaks out and I start sweating more. So now I have that and the heat. So these formal events, pants, a jacket, uh, suit, uh, shirt and tie, things of that nature, drive me up the wall. Like you won't see me wearing that. I'll walk into a formal event wearing a t-shirt and people are like, hey, what the heck are you doing? But I'm like, dude, I'm not doing it. Like I'm not doing it. It's just unbearable, unbearable. So when I see an event that's like, hey, suit and tie, or I get invited to an award ceremony, things of this nature, I'm like, gosh, man, like, it's so hard to comprehend. Like you have to experience it. You have to experience it because going to those events in the middle of summer, just walking from your car to the entryway of the building that you're gonna be inside of, it's hot. It's not comfortable. It's not comfortable. And I'm a fan of being comfortable, you know? I wanna be comfortable. 
So, formal events is number five. Kind of controversial, I understand. People who watch this might say, hey, I'm a, I'm a suit and tie guy. Totally, totally respect it and appreciate it. Personally, I am not. And so, that's number five on my list. So, that is the top five most annoying things to me personally. Arizona native, extremely biased about Arizona. Those are the top five things, in my opinion, that are the most annoying come summertime. So if you have not experienced summer, if you know nothing about Arizona, but you're thinking about living here, just be prepared for those five things to incur when summer comes around in Arizona. It's hot as hell, feels like an oven. If there's a gust of wind, when it's 110 degrees outside, it feels like you're in front of a giant hair dryer just blowing on you. The gust of wind does not help, typically, does not help. Sometimes if you're in the shade, that wind feels good. If you're on the golf course, driving the golf course through shade, that feels pretty good. But if you're in the sun, if you're like at the park, if you're doing something, if you're on a mountain, it's hot, man, like it's hot. So, all right guys, and that wraps up this video, top five most annoying things. Again, my name is Jeremy Fused. I own a real estate team called Impact Real Estate. If you need anything coming uh, when you're making the move to Arizona, I would love to help out. Been in the business long enough, won a ton of awards, sell hundreds of homes every single year. I take this job very, very serious and the amount of work it takes to have a white glove service for all my clients to make sure they're extremely happy because my job is to make you guys happy as stress-free as possible. And uh, again, I want referrals, right? So I wanna make sure I do an incredible job for you so you feel comfortable giving my name to other people, right? It's cyclical, it makes sense, and I love what I do. So if you need any assistance in making the move, again, I am a native to Arizona, been here my entire life. So if you need anything, please holler. Uh, my contact info will be in the comments right on top. And uh, I'm free just to chat if you have any questions about the area whatsoever, restaurant recommendations, if you need uh, some sort of trade, electrician, plumber, something like that. I got the best of the best of the best in the valley. So please just let me know, holler at me. I'm gonna put my personal cell phone in the comments right now. Don't know if that's a good idea, but hey, it's gonna happen it's gonna happen so guys hopefully you have an amazing day hopefully you got something out of this video and uh, i will see you guys soon thanks for tuning by make sure hey one more thing make sure you like and subscribe right like that helps us out a lot especially for like a newer channel like mine uh, with not a lot of followers trying to grow it it helps us out a lot so please like subscribe do all the things all the other youtubers say to do and just help me out it would mean the world to me and i hope to hear from you guys soon and have an amazing day